All right, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and as well Capricorn Rising. Our weekly general tarot reading May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're going to find a link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So with that being said, uh, let's move to the Capricorn reading straight away. So the first card, which marks the topic of your week Capricorn, it is your card because the devil, it represents Capricorn in tarot. So it is going to be the devil card. Moving next, we do have the um, <clears throat> energies which are feeding and supporting the topic. That will be the five of pentacles, followed by uh, the challenges that you will need to overcome here throughout the week. That is going to be the challenge of the nine of pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is uh, the uh, gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy. Uh, that will be the Ten of Wands, followed by the impression that you're going to leave into the people around. That is going to be the Five of Swords. And the last one, which stands as the guidance the Tarot is offering, we do have the Four of Wands. So quite of an, an interesting uh, reading uh, for you, Capricorn, and that's... Um, that week, it's so-called the week where you re-immerse uh, on the surface. So if up until now you have been plumbing down into the deeps, uh, now you just, you know, re-emerge or resurface. But uh, let's have a look uh, a little bit closer how this is going to develop. So the first two cards here, we do have the energies of the Five of Pentacles and the, uh, the situation of the Devil. And it is very interesting to see those cards such aligned and that is quite of a transition that you're gonna under uh, undergo here throughout the week because the five of pentacles as an energy it does point that um well that will be difficult to describe um well it does point first of all that um you're gonna start addressing the elephants in the room. You're going to start addressing the, the problems which are depriving your life of happiness. You're going to start addressing those kind of aspects of your career and of your relationship that are making you feel very insecure, that are making you feel, I don't know, very um, uncertain for the future, if you will. Um, for one or another reason, you did not done that up until now uh, probably the reason is because you thought that those um, those issues out there are way too big um, piece to be chewed down however uh, now as the week progresses you are to find that those um, those issues or those predicaments are rather trifles and you can definitely push through them uh, and pretty much sort your things uh, sort your things through uh, another aspect of the five of pentacles uh, which as the energies provide for your week it is that uh, should you not feel happy up until now say that you um, have been resentful say that you have been poignant say that you know for one or another reason you were a, a quadrant of rage right uh, because you could not manifest something well uh, that week it is the week where you are going to understand or those energies are going to make you see that happiness comes in a many, in a many different gazes and if you cannot be happy with one thing you can definitely be happy with another uh, and that being said instead of um, say hoping that uh, things are going to resolve on their own accord th that that it is not exactly the expression i'm looking for more like uh, the happiness is going to be given to you on a platter we are moving to the situation which is the devil where you create your own circumstances under which you are going to be happy okay and pretty much uh, through seeing or through addressing the issues and seeing that how you can go for happiness one way or another uh, you definitely throughout the, the, the situation of this week is going to give you the means and the prerequisites you do need and you do require to be happy, to be successful, to be lucrative, to be loved and you name it. What, whatever you are missing in your life, you're definitely going to have the circumstances throughout this week to accomplish it. 
one way or, or the other. So moving, uh, <clears throat> moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Nine of Pentacles. So challenging wise, uh, Nine of Pentacles, it's more like a being able to see how big that, that thing is rather than to, I don't know, rather than to think that oh, what you are performing at that particular point, it's, uh, it's trifling opportunity. So Nine of Pentacles points that it will be challenging for you to make the leap into development and truly to um, finalize the deal of the century or to uh, mesmerize uh, the, the right, uh, not the right, but the significant person around you for one or another reason is because you may think that you cannot handle it. And that, that's the whole point of the reading, that you can handle literally almost everything and uh, your own insecurities are making you feel insecure or your own doubts within yourself is making you feel insecure and uncertain of what the future uh, of what the future is going to hold and until you do not unfold okay and uh, how do you say it resent this um, aspects that making you feel uh, insecure uh, unfortunately you won't be as successful as you can be and exactly that week that I don't want to say it that way, or I don't know how uh, in a better way to say it, but the devil is going to give you wings. And devil is not a bad figure by all means. Uh, in my classes, I'm explaining why. But um, pretty much the means that the devil gives you, you can do anything with them. The whole point, however, is not to intoxicate yourself with that power. It's The whole point is not to abuse with those uh, with those means, but use, it on, use them only to create good above everything else uh, for yourself. So uh, once again, challenging wise, it will be that um, you may have a significant doubt that you do have what it takes to get that thing through or to push through the difficulties that making you feel insecure in your relationship life or in your love life. Moving next, we do have the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the week. That is going to be the gift and the blessing of the Ten of Wands. So uh, Ten of Wands here gives consistency and uh, really, how can I describe it? A um, uh, It does point that many things are going to move around. Uh, whatever you start performing into, uh, it's pretty much going to produce results. That is the positive aspect of the Ten of Wands and even a bigger results that you have anticipated. So you need to make sure that you do have a room to handle the results of your actions. Say you jump into a relationship, that relationship is going to be more demanding than you have than you had anticipated. So hopefully, once again, you do have a free room to handle all of the results of your actions. And uh, also with the Ten of Wands, uh, things are going to be rather um, quite regulated. Okay, so, so you pretty much are going to know what follows next and you will be able to prepare yourself as best as you can for the follow up of your immediate uh, of your immediate actions. But the Ten of Wands also as a gift and blessings points that you can develop and an awesome opportunities throughout this uh, throughout this particular week. So uh, what is going to be the impression of the people around that is going to be the impression of the Five of Swords. And it's a quite of a, a double edge of impression that we do have here. So people are going to look at you as a uh, individual who does not care anymore. And they, they an individual just simply wants to have a good time or to have their life sorted out, regardless of what that, that is going to cost. And uh, the good thing is that in between the uh, synergy in between the devil card and the five of uh, swords. So the devil card, the devil gives you tremendous amounts of power that you can do whatever you like with it. Right. But simultaneously, the five of swords, uh, as it is in a passive enemy to the devil, it kind of like whispers you the limitations or the boundaries, the limits that you need to draw, because once you surpass those limits, there is no turning back. I mean, you can say something bad to somebody to insult them. You never can take this word back. So you are always going to have in your mind um, those calculated uh, standpoints, if you will, so you do not overstay your welcome. I don't know how to say it in another way. Additionally to that, 
uh, people were going to see you as a, a quite of a, a, a singularity, a, an individual of a singularity, that you are not going to rely on anybody else unless you do not desperately need somebody else's help. And ultimately, at the end of, at the, end of the day, uh, the, the products of your toils, the results that you are going to bear are going to be yours to consume. And uh, the final card here, which is the Guidance for you, Capricorn, that is going to be the Four of Wands. So guidance-wise, the Four of Wands here points that you should not leave um, any detail that is uh, it's regarding to your endeavours unattended, which is exactly what we talked about at the start of the reading, you know, the aspects that are making you feel uncertain and that are making you feel insecure. And once those aspects are resorted, then you're going to feel like you do have the world brought down into your knees um, or into your feet. And also the four of wands kind of points that you need to reach a closure in one or another way, because uh, you are almost at the final um, final stage of a uh, cycle of development. And that cycle can uh, turn out to be a magic circle if you do not put a comma into it, right? So it's very important to understand here what is done is done. And from there, you got to step on it as a foundation and move forward into the future, jumping into the next level of your personal development, career-wise or relationship-wise. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys, for a May 25th to uh, May 31st, 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, if you want to have a private reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. Uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.